So with the cream and mushroom soup, it is, like I say, something we use. So at the normal grocery store that I go to, the closest one to us, it's uh, about $1.46 a can for the same size can. And I like I some things I'm a brand snob on. This is one of them. I really do like Campbell's better than, than other brands. Uh, some things I'm not, but this particular one is one of them. But uh, it's almost, I mean, it's like $1.46 a can. So then when I get to Sam's Club, I saw the two packages, two packagings. They had the eight count here, and then they had right next to it, they had a 10 count. So most of the time, I wouldn't pay attention and be like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to grab the 10 pack because it's better. Well, this case, it wasn't better. It was a dime a can more expensive than the eight pack. A little bit of easy math. The cost divided by the number of cans in there. Since they're the same can, I could do that. And so for this eight pack, it was about $1.12 a can. Uh, and I know people are going, well, that's only 10 cents really isn't that much. Well, it is. You know, 10 cents a can times 10 is, you know, that's a dollar. I mean, and that adds up. And so if I can save 10 cents a can by buying a different package, by doing a little bit of math, which you don't have to be a mathematician, you can use use your phone, um, you know, just like I did is I divided the cost before taxes. I did all this before taxes. The actual shelf cost divided by the number of cans in there. And it told me 112 point something versus 122 point something. And so I went for the smaller, smaller case size, but it saved me, in this case, it saved me 80 cents. Well, more than that, I bought a couple of them, so. You just gotta, don't be scared to price compare, because if you're buying 10 items and you save a dollar on every package by, by pack, buying the most economical packaging, then that adds up to $10. Well, if you do that five times a month, that's 50 bucks. You know, I mean, it adds up quickly. So be mindful of it and don't be afraid to look at the unit pricing. And if it's not on the label, if it's not on the price, the label for unit pricing, just do the math and figure out, is it a better deal or is it not? Sometimes it is. Sometimes the bigger package is the better deal. Um, but often it often the single can may be, may be the best bet. Um, like I say, this particular time it wasn't. Uh, even at, um, I got th this case at Sam's, so even at Walmart, it was $1.26 a can. So either one of those at Sam's would have saved some money, but it certainly saved more. When I, when I did the math and I bought the better packaging. So be mindful of, of things like that and it'll work out. And for every dollar you save, you can put it away or you can buy, you know, do that 10 times and then you can buy another case of soup. Uh, or, or a lot of things. Actually, everything I bought today was less than $10 a piece. Um, I got peanuts. For about five dollars, the soup was uh, less than ten. I want to say eight something. Uh, this was ten bucks, and then my my other soups were. I mean, it just adds up. A little bit of math, a little bit of thoughtful shopping, can make your budget go a lot further. Thanks for watching. As always, let me know down below what type of packaging or things that you look for when you're doing your shopping. And if you have any tips or tricks to prep on a budget, let me know. Hey, let's get ready.